Uh, hi, I'm Amir Dalic and I'm 15 years old. My name is Dalia Beridin and I'm 15 years old. I'm Amia Bulova and I'm 16 years old. Uh, I'm Nikolina Bulino and I'm 21 years old. I'm Amar Gradišić, I'm 19 years old. My name is Baki Krosovac, I'm 15 years old. Uh, my name is Kanita Bavac, I'm 16 years old and uh, I am representative of um, comedy on legal affairs. Uh, yes, actually, this was the first time uh, I participated in a session through which we learned about the directive, whistleblower, whistleblower directive, and whistleblowing. And I found it was a very interesting and uh, important topic, and the committee itself was great, and the interaction we had was amazing. Uh, but through the, uh, through the committee and through the session, we learned a lot about a very important issue, which uh, is stopping and preventing the progression of society. Uh, this is my first time participating, uh, participating in a session about uh, whistleblowers and I, uh, I think it was a great opportunity to, uh, to get uh, more information about uh, corruption and uh, uh, other illegal uh, actions. Uh, this is actually uh, my first time uh, part in participating in the EYP uh, TIH session. Uh, this is the first time I learned about the whistleblowing in my jury committee. It was a great experience. Uh, this was actually my first time attending uh, EYP session. Um, it was a really interesting uh, event uh, because I learned a lot of, about um, whistleblowing, uh, even though I didn't even know what that meant at first. And I didn't even know that we have in our language, the Zimbabwean language, that we had a term for whistleblower, which means Zizac. I was quite surprised how much my voice actually mattered um, in here, and I'm very thankful and very, um, how can I say it, like, um, amazed, like, how much I actually could change uh, the solution or be a part of it. This was actually my first time attending uh, EYP sessions and uh, learning of, and hearing about whistleblowers for the first time. So I found it really interesting. Uh, I like that we share that we all shared our opinions. And as a younger generation, the generation who will one day uh, rule this world and be in charge of everything, I think it was really interesting to learn about this topic in our uh, young age. So the thing is, uh, this is my first EYMSP session that I ever did. Uh, I'm glad that it was about whistleblowing. The fact is that I was aware that there's a corruption around the world, especially here in the Balkans, and that is not very well dealt with here. Uh, but I'm really glad that here I could learn more about the whistleblower directive and the actual system of the EU and handling. Well, it definitely opened my eyes to a lot of issues I realized existed before but never really thought much about. And I find that after the session I will keep thinking about this and not just leave it in and forget it. Um, I definitely will um, be um, having the whistleblowing concept in my mind. Like, I will be more um, brave and more, um, like, free to... Um, whistleblow in general and I think um, I'm very grateful for it and very thankful in the same way that I can um, be free and say the things that I want to say. The, my participation in the session for a uh, whistleblowing topic uh, actually alerted me new things. I formed uh, new opinions and of course shared new ideas uh, with the friends and colleagues from the group jury. Well, I'm definitely assured of that now every day I'm going to be more and more encouraged and feel safe to whistleblow if there's a need to, if I ever, uh, well, participate or see a corruption happening in my, uh, my environment. And uh, whistleblowing uh, session affected me uh, in a way that I want to, um, I want to um, report corruption in the future. Since uh, in our country corruption is a really common thing, and yeah, that's it. Uh, after these sessions, I have uh, 
bigger, bigger knowledge uh, about uh, this topic. And uh, now I support uh, whistlebloggers even more than before. And I think uh, we all should uh, report uh, our corruption. Well, the most interesting thing I'm, uh, was, in fact, the whistleblower directive, which I found out uh, through this, which I found out, found out about through this. Uh, I was thrilled to see that the European Union is uh, being more aggressive when it comes to these issues and that it, they are tackling them, especially through such an interesting way with a lot of, a lot of clauses. Well, the most interesting thing is that EU actually uh, found a way to obligate all the member states to actually have to implement all the whistleblower, uh, whistleblower directive in their national laws in like the due of two years. Um, and the most important thing that I that I think that is uh, uh, that in in the whistleblower directive is that uh, nowadays uh, everyone needs to think about corruption, especially when the corruption is the root of every other problem, medical uh, issues, economical, politics. Uh, well, the most interesting part was learning about EU uh, directive and their uh, and their security uh, uh, system uh, for the whistleblowing and whistleblowers. The most interesting part is how much I actually can be a part of this um, in, in, a, in a way that I can like, change the future in a better way and I'm very grateful for it and um, also it's interesting how much people like want to change the future in a better way. Uh, the most interesting thing about uh, the topic was learning how corruption and illegal actions uh, uh, is affected uh, on the economy and people's lives. Um, uh, the most interesting part for me actually was uh, the social stigma, the social condemnation and uh, incomprehension which uh, most of the whistleblowers must experience. Um, and also what I found uh, really interesting is that many progressive countries, many progressive uh, West European countries um, had uh, really um, had really negative opinion on whistleblowers and the, uh, the directive uh, since they didn't even translate it, uh, since they didn't even translate um, most of the words translated in their native language um, are um, uh, in, are translated in a negative way. Interesting thing about the topic for me is actually uh, making the points about the media campaigns and commercials uh, which can uh, support uh, whistleblowers in uh, blowing the whistle for the wrongdoings in their companies and institutions.